Hey, welcome back to Shane's Main Shop. Today, we are going to attempt to put the blade, uh, the front blade, on the John Deere 400. Uh, I have never done it before. This is my dad's tractor. Actually, he has never had to plow on it because he's since passed away. So I'm just uh, trying all the implements out. We want to get a, um, I need a part to do the, to hook up the rotor to for a guard next year. But uh, this thing is very lightweight in the front with that grader box on it. I was going to get weights and I figured, why not just try and put the plow on it? So I'm going to go ahead and attempt to do that. And uh, we'll just see how uh, how it all goes. Oh, let me just show you real quick because you won't be able to see up close. Uh, so first thing you gotta do is grab these and you pull them back and twist them. And that uh, moves the pin out of the way. You can see it'll be back out of the way. Then I'm hoping, I believe those lock in here and then the other bar is gonna set down in there. I don't know what the bar just sits in there, what the clock needs to come out, what the said. Um, I think it might just sit in there, but we'll find out. Let's do the back camera. You guys can watch him laugh at me if uh, we're doing something wrong. I think it slides in and it tips up and releases in there. Yeah, I think that's probably about right. It's probably going to snap back while you can grab that side of the pile and pull that way with the heel that way back to it. I don't have the whole thing to do this side. You know, I can kind of get one back to look. I'll hold this up. I'll have to get one back to look. 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 One side is in, but it's kitty cornered enough that it's just it's the t the clearance is so tolerance is so tight that I can't get this side to go in. So I think we have to pull this side back out and go in straight. So yeah, bear with us for a minute. Okay, so with a little bit of a bar, probably bar, we're able to get those pins just about in place. Now I just gotta get the top ones to lock in, so. The bottom ones still have to lock into place. Yeah, they're not right. completely in. So it's right behind here. It's gotta go into that groove the rest of the way. Oh, but that one just went in. And that one just went in, there we go. Yeah. Now if we undo these pins, and then lift up on the plow, those should pop in. So yeah, it was just a little bit of, a little bit of finagling. But now you can see that pin is in the in position as well as that pin there. So the plow is secure. Now it's just a matter of hooking up the hydraulic lines. But uh, there's four lines here to hook up, four ports. One's going to be the up and down. One's going to be the right and left. And I imagine once you get used to it, you hook them up the same way every time so you know what lever you're pushing. Right now, it doesn't matter. There's two separate levers. So we're just going to hook them up and see what happens. But since this one's on this side, I see one person can do this. Yeah, it's not the And then put those two up on that side. And just screw them over. Those, yeah, those, yeah. 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 Okay, oh, looks like all good. four are locked in. Now, for the big test. <laughs> Let's see I if it actually go. works. I'll, I'll move that bar out of the way. Swap. The great news is it's working great. Uh, bad news is, um, I don't know if I'm in the video here, but instinct is to pull back to make something go up, like an airplane or anything else. And right now when I pull back, uh, the plow's going down, I push forward, it comes up. So we're just going to reverse those two lines and uh, that'll take care of it. Yep, it's actually the ones on this side. Okay, so it's working. We're going to go ahead and give it a test. All right, that was the first run. So we're actually going to give you a real live action video here. I 
probably can't hear me, but uh, that is a working plow, so go ahead and put this out of the way for a minute. <laughs> That's uh, installing the blade for the John Deere 400 and uh, a little bit of how it works. So super happy with that. Uh, it's going to give us uh, some weight in the front without having to worry about buying weights and all that good stuff. And uh, we can use the plow. So when I'm grading the driver with the box grader, uh, we can also use the blade on the front to help. And uh, I was surprised the amount of power it had, to be honest with you, and the fact that it didn't slip really that much with a, a you know decent-sized load in front of the blade. So anyway, uh, yeah, relatively quick and easy hookup, which is great. Uh, that is the John Deere... 400 now i gotta get the serial number off this because i don't know what year it is i know it's late 70s early 80s because that's when they made these uh, but that's all i know at this point and i'm still waiting for an important part to run some of the other components but anyway i hope you like this video thanks for swinging by shane's main shop also don't forget swing by my friend's channel ben uh, he has a channel it's called the art of doing and he has all kinds of videos uh, about different topics and really just trying to inspire people to try something new and experiment with different things that you can do. He has some great videos on chicken coop builds and just just a real good variety of stuff. So swing over there and check it out. I'll put a link down in the description. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. It wasn't recording. Back up and try it again.